Robert Morgan was 23 years old when he flew his first mission over Nazi-occupied Germany at the beginning of World War II. It's an experience he'll never forget. Well, just to give you an example, there were in our group, 91st Bomb Group, there were 36 airplanes that flew across the Northern Atlantic to England. And uh, in the first three months, we lost 82% of those airplanes. The Nazis were using American B-17s for target practice. Morgan and his crew were called heroes because they accomplished something no other air crew had at that point. They survived 25 bombing missions without being shot down. I had guys on my right wing, guys on my left wing, guys up above me and below me. And, uh, you know, many of the time, uh, they, some of those guys got shot down. I lost my right wing man once, lost my left wing man twice and we came home and you, you, you know you were so close in formation that that's miraculous that that happened that way in fact surviving 25 missions over nazi held germany was such a big deal that almost 50 years later hollywood made a movie commemorating the memphis bell that's matthew modine playing robert morgan uh, it was like a lot of hollywood movies they glamorized it a lot very much particularly the way the crew act that crew played and had dances before missions and all that. And we didn't have anything like that. Because we had to be all business. And don't think that Colonel Morgan went back to the States after those first 25 missions. He re-enlisted and flew 25 more missions in a B-29 over Japan, again, without losing a single crewman. The original Memphis Bell is sitting on display at Mud Island in Memphis, Tennessee, in Omaha, with photographer Mark Smith, Robert Keith, KPTM News.